Hey guys, just in the kitchen tonight. We're gonna have bison burgers. So I'll just show you what I've already prepared. Scott's not home for an hour, so I'm not gonna cook it. But yeah, so I'll show you what we got. So we're gonna have some steamed broccoli. I already got it prepared. I'll start that closer to when he's home. Um, here's the bison burgers. So mine is the smaller one. It's the exact same size as this big one. I just made it to fit the bun. So Scott gets two of those, I get one. I did some caramelized onions and um, mushrooms, the brown mushrooms. I did some turkey bacon, I already cooked that up. We got some Swiss cheese, some romaine lettuce, and some tomatoes. I also really like this here, this is Miracle Whip. This is the fat free kind. Not all grocery stores have it, so just make sure you get that instead of half the fat. Just the macros are a little bit different. We also have um, Scott's favorite, the little white Dempster's buns. And yeah, so I will cook that up when he gets home and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, the meal is done and Scott is home now. So uh, I'm gonna put my burger on the, the bun. I just got home from work. This is nice. Um, so next, let me grab a spoon. I this is I'm gonna nice. put a little bit of turkey bacon. Nice. Um, I'm gonna put my cheese underneath, put the caramelized onions on top. Wow. Yes, this is processed cheese. Tastes good on a burger though, eh? Macros are good too. Britt wasn't a big fan of the Kraft cheese. Now she is, because of me. I would put um, Algero cheese. Hmm. I always call it a legger for some reason. Um, I would put Algero cheese, but the only thing is, is I only have enough protein for my burger, so you can have that another time. Okay. I'm gonna put a slice of tomato. I'm like so hungry just watching. Put a little bit of romaine. You hungry? And she cleaned the house. And we put the See on the top with the little broccoli. Oh! Oh, that's mean. Bro. Get it, get it, get it. Mm. How is it, Scotty? Oh man, this is a treat. This, I got the, the Swiss on, bison burger, caramelized onions, tomatoes, extra tomatoes, um, lettuce, mustard. Mmm, I filled up on the caramelized onions. There's a nice come home too. Cauliflower, gonna be mashed. Maybe carrots. Purple, orange, yellow. Mark D'Angelo's five dollar steaks. Flexible dieting. Mmm. Mmm. Brent, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Hungry though. 
got a you want to flex the old arm for me? Oh, oh, uh oh. Um, just mention on one of these purple carrots. They're heirloom carrots. Thought it was pretty good. We don't normally. Well, I like we like carrots, but uh. You like beets. I do. My I beets. Like beets. What about the quads? Let's see the quad. Goodness gracious. Ronnie Coleman esque. Wrong style. Britt does it again. Cooking dinner. Done. That's one. The plate's already come kind of already made like this. You just put it in the oven and yeah. then you eat. Space. It's in the future. Got beans and carrots and Britt made mashed potato or mashed mashed cauliflower and steak. We're gonna put some gravy There's on. There's mine. Do you wanna show the gravy going on? Mine first? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love gravy. So I, I do you want it on yours? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Say when. Can't see, see you pick. Dredged. Good. Yay! That's the way I like it. Fark. I did it again. God. Steak and chicken this time. With Thousand Island sauce. Hey guys, I'm just enjoying a roast beef sandwich. Montreal. Montreal sandwich. And um, we're going to go to Milestones and have a couple drinks. Um, yes, I am 11 weeks out. So you wouldn't think you're able to drink. I'm not going to go crazy, but I'm going to have a drink or two. Um, so you'll track your alcohol. I'll probably do vodka. Um, one drink, like one shot, is 16 grams of carbs. So. Just change it's that fun, around. You know, it's okay. Have, enjoy your life. So basically, uh, yeah. you know, when you get closer to show, we won't, but you can still go out and have a couple drinks, not get loaded, but mm -hmm. go have fun. And she's filling up before we go to the restaurant because then we won't be hungry, right? So yeah. still go enjoy yourself and be fit. Yeah. And why do vodka? Because it's white vodka. That <laughs> sounded so racist, <laughs> Brittany. I'm looking at my fitness pal that dreams but clear alcohol. That was bad. Because it has less carbs in it. So yeah, we just convert the just alcohol to carbs properly. in calorie wise. Yes. She's terrible. Hate mail, thumbs down. <laughs> So we ended up not going to Milestones. We came to uh, HomeSense and we're going to Walmart and this is what happens. So this needs to go in there and it doesn't go through my back seat either. Hmm. It's a little bit more expensive than going to Milestones. All smiles. Uh, looks like we'll have to get a truck. Can't take it home yet. Scott's getting some pre-workout in for us, trying to make some heart-shaped ice cubes. This is how hardcore I am. On a Saturday, I'm putting heart-shaped ice cubes in my bro jug so we can go to the beach. I woke up early, my day off, to go to the gym early and like go to the beach later. <laughs> Gotta look hot at the beach, guys. Gotta work out. Scott's getting ready. We're going to the gym. What's up, team? It's freaking 7 in the morning. Uh, Saturday morning. In my pre. And my day off. We're, we're going to go train so we can go to the beach. And... Actually, this brings up a good point. People can ask, like I got a lot of water here. They go, oh, I, I can't drink that much water before I train. Here's my thing, is if you're training right in the morning, 
think about it, and you're like me, I go pee like two, two, three times during the night. Hydration is one of the most important parts of training. And I feel way better if I just drink more water and obviously get in the, the pre than if I have a little bit. So that's the whole re I drink it like one of these, like every morning when I get up, just feel so much better, hydrated. Yeah, I feel better. But other way, that, that it's the morning time, that's why I'm rambling, but. Yep.